In this video, I'm going to show you how 4Ocean, a Shopify store that sells bracelets plus helps clean the ocean, makes more than $3 million every single month and their step-by-step -step strategy. Let's find out. Hey, what is up? It's Raphael here and in this video, I'm going to show you how two dudes from 4Ocean, these two right here, created a massive massive movement maybe you've seen their ads here and there and i'll show you exactly their strategy and their follow-up sequence for ads so you can see what they are doing with their marketing and how they're making more than three million dollars per month and how you can replicate their style of business and what they're doing and the exact software and click by click instructions that you need to replicate it and do it for yourself. But before we start, I wanna invite you to my free zero to 10,000 per month Shopify masterclass. The first link in the description when 10,000 people have already watched that, I teach you how to go from zero to 10,000 per month or more on Shopify, now in 2019, 2020 and beyond. And as always, we give out free one-on-one -on -one consulting calls directly with me in every single video. All you have to do is comment secrets Comment secrets down below, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, I will be checking. All right, this is the company that I was talking about, 4ocean.com, and essentially when you go to their website, they're really not trying to sell you any product, they're trying to sell you a mission or present to you a mission that you can contribute to. So right here it says, one ocean, one mission, let's end the ocean plastic crisis together. And it really doesn't talk about their product, nothing, and that's part of their strategy and how they're making so much money. So let's go down here. It says 5 million pounds of trash removed from the ocean since 2017. They built a massive empire in just two years. And if we go to Salesforce right here and click analyze store, we can see exactly how much they're making. And this store is going to surprise you. So let's go back until Salesforce loads. And right here it says by purchasing a four ocean bracelet, you also help remove one pound of trash. If they've removed 5 million pounds, they've sold 5 million bracelets at $20 each, which is what they cost. They've made more than $10 million selling these bracelets in less than two years. So if we go to Salesforce, we can see they make around 1.7 million to 3.5 million every single month. Domain creation says 15 years ago, but that's probably because they bought the domain from somebody else and they started two years ago and that's when they really blew up and took it to this level. Absolutely insane. Their best selling products right here, the Four Ocean traditional bracelet. So let's go back. I also want to show you that they have a monthly subscription right here. Clean the ocean every month. When you subscribe, you'll receive one bracelet before anybody else. So you'll receive a monthly bracelet from them as well as take a pound of trash every single month. So they're always leading with the mission in front. They're not leading with a product. They're not trying to sell you a product. They're trying to sell you with clean the ocean. And that's the key to this business. If you look at their ads, this is the first YouTube ad that I found. And I found it actually watching like sales videos, how to sell to people. And they targeted me with this ad here in Ukraine. So they're not even targeting just the US, just UK, just Canada. They're doing a massive worldwide campaign to multiple, multiple interests, multiple, multiple placements. And if we look at their ad, I'm gonna play a little bit. So they start out the first five to six seconds of this ad, it really captures your attention because again, they're not trying to sell you anything. In the first five seconds, do you see two shirtless dudes, which isn't really normal for a YouTube ad. You don't really see a YouTube ad like this. And they're just talking about, hey, I'm here, I'm here. When we went to Bali, Indonesia, we just found a bunch of plastic. So it's a very good lead. And the view as well is really impactful. Like when you see this ad, the first three seconds, first four seconds on YouTube, the first five seconds is when you can't skip and then you can click skip ad. Within the first five seconds, they already caught you. They already caught your attention. It's like a bunch of plastic on the beach, two dudes surfing and teaching you about so much plastic and so much pollution in the beach. It really makes you want to keep watching and learning about it. So let's keep going on it. They emphasize the problem. We wanted to make it our mission to solve this problem, and we have. And now, in the first 15 seconds, they already told you what's the problem, what's the issue that we, they have to solve, and then what's the mission. The mission is to solve it. If you look at the ad, it has more than 30 million views. Absolutely insane. In actually less than four months, which is crazy. 
This ad just went absolutely viral. People are loving it and they're running it at a massive, massive campaign. We keep looking at it. They just talk about the mission, talk about people cleaning the ocean and how when you buy a bracelet, you essentially clean the ocean and they talk about their story and what they're doing and how essentially you can contribute. And the main lead is always a bracelet equals a pound of trash. And that is key to this. They're making it seem, or they, they actually do, when you buy a bracelet, they save a pound of trash from the ocean. You're not buying the bracelet, you're not buying it because it's cute, you're not buying it because you want a piece of jewelry, you're buying it because you want to contribute to that pound of trash taken out of the ocean. Beautiful, beautiful strategy. And boom, they emphasize the mission, emphasize, 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 absolutely beautifully well done. And if you look at their YouTube, they have a 36,000 subscribers and all they're emphasizing is the mission, cleaning up beaches, cleaning up basically bottles around the beach, pollution and everything. So we're gonna go to the keynote right here, their four ocean strategy. We're gonna go a little bit, but I wanna show you the other YouTube ads that they're running. After you see this ad that I just showed you, the join the movement one, they target you with Ocean YouTube ad number one. I'm gonna play this one right here. All right, second sequence of the YouTube ads that they're running is hey, I'm going to emphasize that this is the problem. They're giving you an update, which there's not really an update to give after you see the first ad. It's really more of, hey, this is how bad the problem is. This is how massive the problem is. He's standing on literally a beach of trash and they're re-emphasizing that problem. Again, not trying to sell you anything, just re-emphasizing the mission. And then they target you with the third ad, which was the one that actually like gets the most sales. Now, again, they're trying to sell you on the mission and it's very well done. I'm not criticizing them at all. This is just absolutely beautiful market marketing. I want to under, I want to help you understand how they're doing it so you can do it yourself. I'm gonna show you how to partner up with charities a bit later in the video so you can also have this impact in this mission. But again, first ad is to kind of give you a perspective. Hey, this is how big the problem is. Re-emphasize how big the problem is and then in the third ad they actually show you hey what does purchasing a bracelet do it helps contribute to the ocean helps clean the ocean it's not just about bracelet this is just a stepping stone to the bigger picture of a clean ocean this is a stepping stone to the bigger picture of a clean ocean like beautifully well done these two guys are just absolute masters of marketing very well done very very well done their names are alex and andrew just beautiful marketing absolutely well done so they always re-emphasize that problem of the ocean polluter the ocean pollution there's too much plastic in the ocean when you buy a bracelet you contribute to this so that's our main main key is they always lead with the charity and with the north star cost when you have a north star cost or a polar pol polaris star cost it's what you lead your company towards or what your main mission is. That main mission is to clean the oceans, to stop pollution. That is the North Star, that is what they focus on. They don't focus on how cool the product is, how cute it is, although it's cute, it's a cool bracelet made out of plastic actually, they make it out of the plastic that they pull from the ocean. If we go right here, um, it says, cord is made with recycled water bottles, beads are made with recycled glass. So it's actually like, they make it from the plastic that they pull from the ocean which is very, very well done. They have that North Star cost, which is let's clean the ocean. And that's what they're trying to bring you in. Not, this is a cool product you should buy because it's cool or it's great for your friends to look better. No, it's because it contributes to stopping pollution. In the ocean, you can also use services to find responsible charities. And real quick, just a note, I was gonna title this video, how they made three million a month without Facebook ads because I couldn't load the Facebook ads library. It just wouldn't load whatever I did. It just wouldn't load. So then I tried it incognito, didn't load again, and I finally found all their ads. So they do spend millions on Facebook ads. They don't just do YouTube ads, they do both. YouTube and Facebook, I do wanna add this to the strategy. If we go right here, they spend more than 
four million dollars since May of 2018, and it's about social issues, elections, and politics. If you look at all their ads, it says paid for by Four Ocean LLC. So if you find an ad by them, they weren't running in my newsfeed. I couldn't find the ads library, and I finally found it here. And all of their ads are mostly retargeting people that already watch the YouTube ads. So they start off with YouTube, and then they retarget on Facebook, as you can see here. You've seen our videos. You know the mission. Get your bracelet today, and then you can get a two-pack right there. And then these Hi, videos. I'm Alex Schultz, and I'm Andrew Cooper. In 2015, we took a surf trip to Bali. Basically, the same video that they're running on YouTube, and then this one. The story begins when a mysterious yellow bottle washed up on a shoreline. Then two yellow bottles, three yellow bottles. You get the point. Tons of yellow bottles are washing on the South Florida shorelines. Wow. And then they're trying to emphasize the problem, right, of the ocean pollution of so many, so much plastic. So much glass showing up in the in the actual oceans, and then in this in the other ad that I want to show you is the cleanup. So right here, this actual footage from one of our four ocean valley cleanups. You're gonna watch that. Right here, emphasizing the problem again, and then cleaning up, then showing you how they do it. And then basically re-emphasizing the problem, showing you, hey, this is what we're doing, this is the mission, this is to clean the ocean. You can go through all their Facebook ads, I'll put the exact link that you need to visit to actually find these because it just wouldn't load for me. But these are their ads, you can go through them, check out the full story right here. And they do a lot, a lot of retargeting. So in the strategy that I'm teaching you in this video, make sure to integrate retargeting with Facebook and make sure to integrate that charity aspect or that mission behind the brand Make sure to definitely put it on your ads. And as you can see here, they integrated all their ads, just running, 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 and then other ads. Polar Ocean is a company in the business of cleaning up the ocean, and they have been a great supporter of our upcoming documentary, Searching for Chinook. Boom, and then another testimonial of like, hey, they really do a good mission of changing the world and making the world a better place. Just wanted to add that to this video. I did, I wanted to be completely honest and clear of what they do. I did a lot of research. I spent a few hours trying to find the best services to find a charity for your own. If you have a Shopify, a Shopify store or a brand and you want to partner up with charities and do it that way, kind of incentivize your customer base or your potential customers to contribute to that charity, then you can do it this way. You can use the service called Give Well. They show you the best charities around the world. You can see here our recommendations to donors, top charities, and you can see all of this. Try to pick a charity that fits into your niche and your existing customer base as well as potential customers. Try to make the product fit the charity. For example, if you're selling pet products, then don't try to clean the ocean or partner up with an ocean charity. It doesn't really make sense. If you're selling pet products, make a charity or partner up with a charity about saving animals or saving stray animals. If you're selling, let's say, clothes or apparel, try to partner up with a charity that saves kids from child labor, something like that that correlates very well to your audience and to your niche. You can go through all of these right here. There's a lot of funds, a lot of charities. If you go to philanthropedia.org, you can also search for charities and all the top ones right here based on different things, LGBT, access to healthy food, mental health, environment, and then you can look through all of these charities as well as Charity Navigator. You can type in the charity name. So let's say you wanna do pets. Right here, you can see I did a few searches on here. You can find a lot of charities and how much money they make, how much you're helping, what their cause is, and then you can just go through all of these as well as Charity Watch, which is a really good charity. You can just type in, let's say, pets again, and then try to find charities or articles about charities here on Charity Watch. These are the best services out there. I did all my research so you don't have to. All the links are down in the description. Before we go on, I do want to congratulate Jens, the viewer Jens, for winning the one-on-one -on -one call from the past video. If you want to win a call, comment secrets down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's important that you hit that bell because YouTube won't show you notifications. Hit that bell right now. Another thing 4Ocean does very, very well is having variety and then creating a subscription box service. What you can do to create a subscription box is also what Pura Vida bracelets does, which is right here, Pura Vida bracelets. You've probably seen them. They make millions and millions and millions. If you go to Salesforce and analyze store, they essentially sell 
bracelets on a subscription based service. So every month you pay between 15 and $25 and they ship you a new bracelet and they just keep people on that retainer every single month. They make 15 to $20 and they make about 1.2 to 2.4 million per month. I think this is kind of an extra level of branding is when you get people on a subscription and you just get them built into a subscription. If you want to see videos about subscriptions or how to create a subscription boss in detail, let me know in the comments below. I'll make an exact step-by-step -step video for that. So let's go back to recur or to recharge, which is a service that I recommend for launching and scaling a recurring business, essentially a subscription box business. I definitely recommend you can connect it to Shopify very, very easily. And in the bottom here, you can see recurring products, subscription boxes, and then you can essentially tell them, Hey, if you subscribe, we'll send you the product before anybody else will ship you before anybody else has access to it or even knows about it as well as you're going to save 15 to 20% on the actual product. So you don't have to keep buying and buying every single time we just ship it to you and it connects to the Shopify store very well. You can also use bold subscriptions, which is what Pura Vida, you can see it here. Pura Vida bracelets, they use 60 day free trial. You can check, uh, check it out for two months. If you don't like it, then you know you just have to delete it. And then you can pay $30 per month to actually use the service. Absolutely recommend you have a subscription box if you're trying to build a brand. Like in the last video, if you build a niche and then you build a brand, I definitely recommend you go into subscriptions. That is how you make consistent money. Even if your ads suck, if your paid acquisition just dies that month, you're still making a bunch of money. You're still making a bunch of profit from the people that joined months before. So let's go back to the keynote. New type of marketing, right? They're doing YouTube plus YouTube ads with that Polaris star goal, that North star goal in mind. They don't have the product in mind. They're not trying to sell you the product. They're not trying to review the product. All they're trying to do is get you to contribute to the mission, join the movement. That is why their app is built in this way. It's not buy this product. It's not, this is so cool. It's 50% off. It's on sale. It's joined our movement of cleaning the ocean and they re-emphasize and emphasize that again. If we go to their YouTube, it says right here, walking an island of plastic, discovering an island of plastic and just talking about the ocean for ocean partners with Ocean Conservancy, the future of the Great Barrier Reef, right? They're talking about the massive problem that is ocean pollution and that is their lead. They're not trying to leave you with the product. They're not trying to leave you with trying to sell you on anything. They're just adding to that mission, to that North Star. Orca Conservancy is protecting killer whales. Four Ocean Partners with Orca Conservative, uh, sorry, Conservancy. And they're really just trying to emphasize into that main goal of cleaning the ocean, which I thought was amazing. Lead with that. It's a different type of e-com store. It's a different type of brand. It's not just selling a product you buy the feeling of helping to clean the ocean. Some people might not even wear the bracelet, might not even like it. They're just contributing to that main mission. Like he said in the ad, it's a stepping stone towards the mission. The bracelet is just like a little stair or staircase towards that mission and giving people a way to contribute. That's also not really sketchy or anything. It's a bracelet. You can wear it and you actually have that physical product in your hand. It also is you're buying the result of a cleaner ocean. You're not buying a product emphasize the North Star cost. Like I said, that Polaris Star is always there in their YouTube, in their YouTube ads. If we go back to the ads, that's always like join the clean ocean movement at 4ocean.com. And then again, just wanted to keep you guys break up. You know what we're doing, and uh, can't wait to show you a cleaner beach in the future. Can't wait to show you a cleaner beach in the future. That's the goal. Cleaner beaches. You buy the product in order to get that. That is absolutely beautiful. If you go through the services that I just taught you, Philanthropedia, Charity Watch, Charity Dog, uh, Charity Watch, or Charity Navigator.org, you can find a charity, create the same feeling of getting involved in a mission. Not buying a product, getting involved in a mission, and you get people that might not even like your product, they would have never bought from you, but they're buying because they're interested in helping. That one of my students, Ibrahim, does this extremely well. His brand partners up with a charity, and women buy products from the brand, even if they don't like them, because they want to contribute to that main cause of the charity. Let's go back to Pura Vida. The same thing happens here as well. They how they started. If you look at the about page, you can see in the bottom it says, At Pura Vida, we've always been at the core of helping people, and we've partnered up with more than 175 charities around the world to donate nearly 1.7 million to causes that people care about. This is massive. 
massive for selling to people, especially in a saturated market, especially when everybody's just trying to sell something, sell something, being on top of that and saying, we're not trying to sell you something, we're trying to sell you a mission, we're trying to sell you cleaner beaches, less child abuse, less uh, women abuse, less something, less pets on the street, less stray dogs, something then you are more likely to buy because you want that it hits that moral human aspect of buying. It hits that moral high ground and it really, you really want to contribute just because you want that cause to be went to go through. And then the last thing that mass appeal have simple, clean and beautiful products. Don't make it too expensive. Don't make it too overcomplicated. They just have a simple bracelet that looks absolutely beautiful. And it's also with their mission. So this particular bracelet is made from the plastic bottles and the plastic glass that they recovered from the ocean. Ties in again to their mission. Absolutely well done. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Congrats to Four Ocean for all their success. Create a theme as well. Like all their thing is about the ocean. Everything is about cleaning the ocean, cleaning beaches. It's all with that theme of, you know, blue, creating that ocean clean aspect in their site, in their videos, in everything. They just focus on that theme of cleaning the ocean. And the last thing is have a face and a team of real people behind your brand. A lot of people, they build a brand and then they build like this fake persona, not really making videos with any brands, not any influencers. And this is what they do very well. They actually put a video right here, meet Alex, meet Andrew, so you can meet who these people are. Who are the people behind the brand? Who are these guys that I saw on that ad? This is where they are. And they show you this particular ad has 793,000 views, 288,000 views. What I'm assuming is that they're using that for retargeting for their YouTube ads very, very well. And here, Alex and Andrew find tons of plastic, a beach on a remote island gets cleaned up. So they're really trying to emphasize, hey, these are real people that really want to help clean the ocean. Another retargeting ad that I want to show you from them because it's crafted exceptionally well. If you want to go ahead and watch their YouTube videos, they're all made so, so well, especially the ones that are 50 seconds to a minute. That's when you know it's a YouTube ad. They're just made absolutely well. If you watch this one. It all started with a certain trip to Bali, Indonesia. When we got there, we saw some of the plastic that was in the ocean and then sell that product. We could then find a whole lot. They're saying if we find that plastic in the ocean, fund our product, sell that product to then fund removing more plastic from the ocean. So they're talking about their mission, how it all ties together and just emphasizing, hey, this is not a product, this is a mission. We're trying to solve this massive problem and the problem that they're trying to solve with this product. You know, I talk about a lot, find a product that solves a problem in the world. This is a gigantic problem and the product isn't really solving it per se for the mission, it's solving the system that makes that problem go away. They have this whole team of people that really emphasize, hey, these are real people cleaning the ocean. We partner up with a lot of charities and build this thing together. Again, I wanna congratulate 4Ocean for their massive success and that massive mission. If you wanna learn how this particular Shopify store makes more than $100,000 every single month without Facebook ads, with only YouTube ads, check out the video right here. Check out this video, the little square right here, case study, $100,000 per month without Facebook ads. Again, congrats to Blue Ocean. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Notifications won't show up if you don't click that bell, so click it right now. Comment secrets down below, and I will see you in the next one.